Yo, this is good YouTube. Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking every single barbecue buckets card from worst to best here in NBA 2K24. My 25, my team. I said 24. What in the world? Not actually every single, though. So every single ruby and up. I will say that there are 45 cards in this drop, but there are only 15 ruby and up. There are 30 sapphires, emeralds, and golds. I'm not going to go through and rank all those guys. Now, I will make a quick shout out. Sapphire Harrison Barnes and Sapphire Purvis Ellison, both very good budget cards. Y'all should try them out. Um, both of them are very, very capable if you're looking for a budget small forward, budget power forward in Purvis's case. Really nice budget cards. But as a whole, I don't think this drop is that great in terms of those guys besides those two cards. Uh, and if I was ranking 45 cards, this video would literally take an hour. So we're just going to rank the rubies and up in this one um, because I think those are the main cards people are really concerned about anyway. So before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. I keep saying 30K, 40K. We hit 30K a couple days ago. Working towards 40K now. It's going to be a heck of a grind, but I really appreciate all y'all's support. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. So the worst card out of all of the pink diamonds through rubies is this amethyst eric money in my opinion a six foot point guard that is small he is a good but not unbelievable shooter cannot dunk at all and defensively is very mediocre no interior whatsoever perimeter isn't great yes he's very fast and has high agility but overall the card is not elite at all he can't dunk he's too small and he's not a good defender overall that's not going to cut it as a high tier card at this point in the game then you got ruby zach randolph who if he was faster would be pretty good he can hit an open three standing dunk is an 80 which isn't awful but his defense is pretty bad besides the 80 interior his rebounding is great but he's got 50 speed also not a card that i think is very good those are the two worst cards pretty clearly in my opinion out of this drop now the third worst is this steve nash who is unsurprisingly a buyout um he's 6'3 i don't think he's that good either to be honest 88 three ball yes he's a diamond but he can't dunk his jumper generally isn't very good in 2k and defensively he's also super mid and he's slow 80 speed i know he's got okay badges i guess but i don't think this card is that much better than that eric money to be honest uh, i mean maybe slightly better stats all the way around although he is slower but he does have half diamond which is nice but overall i think he's really bad he's one of the worst diamonds in the game for sure would definitely stay away from steve nash in my opinion i'm um, not a fan of that card then you got ruby tj warren not awful. 6'8", small forward. He can shoot pretty well. He's got an 80 driving dunk. He's just very mediocre defensively. He does have good speed, good vert. Not a terrible card. Decent budget option, but only 11 total badges and not a ton of really key good ones. He's not terrible, but he's certainly not what I would think of as a top tier small forward. The lack of defense is probably his biggest issue. Then you got Ray Allen, who's just a better shooter. Incredible shooter and an 85 driving dunk. And I think he's got Hoff Limitless. He does. And he's got five gold shooting badges as well. The problem with this card is that he doesn't do much else besides shoot and the 85 driving dunk. His defense is also very mediocre. Yes, he's got great speed, good agility, but he's very mediocre defensively. The badges are, there's no badges defensively besides bronze pick Dodger. He's still going to struggle a lot on the defensive end of the court, and that takes away from his value relatively significantly. Then you got Jared Jack, not a bad card, 6'3 PG, elite shooter, really nice release. I've already heard that his jumper's awesome. Uh, he can't dunk either, though, and he's also a mediocre defender, but he is a much better version than a guy like Eric Money, considering he's a better shooter, better release, uh, and also does have, I think, a little bit more defensive capability with a little bit more size and a couple more badges. Uh, a couple more total badges as well. I mean, he's not a bad card. Actually, what I've heard, a decent, pretty decent budget point guard, especially offensively. Still wish he could dunk, though, and still wish he was a little better defensively, so that keeps him lower on the list. Next is the second diamond, Bradley Beal. Six foot four shooting guard, undersized. That's his biggest flaw, probably. Stat-wise, really good. Badge-wise, also very solid. 93 three ball, 85 driving dunk. Pretty good defender. 80 interior is surprisingly good. 93 speed, 90 speed with ball. Badge-wise, he's got seven hoffs, include dead eye, limitless handles for days, set shooter, shifty specialist or shifty shooter, set shot specialist, and lightning launch as well as ankle assassin. He's just really small. Outside of that, I actually think he's a pretty good card, but we're already at the point in this list where you're getting to the good cards. There's a lot of good cards towards the top of this drop, and I think Bradley Beal is kind of the worst of the really good cards, but he's still a very solid option, so don't overlook him, especially if he winds up being super affordable. Right now, he's not, but if this is a card that winds up being pretty cheap, he might not be a terrible buy, although I say that. If he's over 70K, I don't think I'd buy him, and it doesn't look like he's anywhere close to that right now. Next, you got Ruby Austin Rivers, one of the best Rubies in the game, easily the best Ruby point guard that's currently a available besides maybe a couple gems of the game but even then 6 4 89 offense 86 defense uh or was it 80 yeah it was 86 i'm correct uh 87 three ball 
he can dunk not bad 75 driving dunk 89 ball handle as well 84 steel 86 perimeter that's pretty good 87 speed to the ball agility 88 vert 93 strength or sorry 93 stamina now i don't generally recommend adding badges to um to rubies and he doesn't really need many he comes really complete as a base card but there's one main badge that he does not have and that is the on ball menace badge i think this austin rivers is a good enough budget point guard to where adding on ball menace is really not a bad idea it's only the it's the only really important badge that he truly needs there are other ones you could add i'm sure bailout would also be a good one immovable and or things like that but if you don't want to badge out a ruby too much i get it at the same time he's an awesome card one of the very best rubies in the game and i'm excited to do gameplay with him as an elite budget card that gameplay might have even dropped by the way by the time y'all watch this video if not it'll be coming later tonight or tomorrow um after austin rivers is the next diamond demar Derozan. the main problem with demar is that his jumper is not very good on next gym Everything else about him is awesome. He's got good size at 6'6". He's a capable shooter, elite slasher, solid but not unbelievable defender, but pretty good. 89 speed, 88 agility, 95 vert, 75 strength. Badge-wise, he's got half posterizer, dead eye, and shifty shooter as well as physical finisher. Gold badges are also very solid. He's even got on ball menace as a base card. He's a really solid card on paper. I just think his jumper's pretty mediocre, and that holds him back a good bit, which puts him a bit lower on the list than he otherwise would be. Purvis Short is next. Another very solid diamond, 6'7", 96 offense, 91 defense really solid release 84 three ball 90 driving dunk really solid defender as well 80 steel 87 perimeter 78 interior 88 speed and agility 84 vert 95 stamina nice card off handles for days layup mix master physical finisher ankle assassin and strong handle he's another very athletic wing who is a solid solid defender as well now he could also use that on ball menace badge that's the main badge that he is really missing and i would definitely recommend adding that one if you could but overall i think purvis short very solid card a bit slept on honestly this next vote is going to surprise y'all. I am putting Shaq all the way at number five. There are so many inside bigs already, and he is so expensive. I just don't think he's any better than Wilt or Dwight or anybody like that. Like, he's good, no doubt, but he can't shoot at all. He's going to be dominant on the interior, but so is Wilt, and so is Dwight. Like, he's not going to be any different than those guys. He's going to play basically the exact same. And there's enough bigs in the game that do what Shaq does to where, yes, he's a great card, but he's certainly not worth his price. I mean, Shaq's obviously a huge name in my team, but I just can't sit here and say that's going to be an elite level option. So in my opinion, Shaq slots in at that number five spot, as much as that may be an unpopular and a bit surprising position to take. Number four is another pink diamond, actually, which is Pascal Siakam. This card is very good. He's very well-rounded. He's a good shooter. He's a good dunker. He's a versatile elite defender good rebounder 86 speed 88 agility his jumper's a little janky outside of that he's an awesome card but he is only six foot eight um, at the power forward position can't play center it's a little undersized in my opinion he's basically a better draymond that's how i would describe this card very very solid card don't get me wrong at all especially badged up he is really elite i just think there's a lot of top tier cards in this drop and siakam for me only slots in at number four that's because Al Harrington, who is not quite Siakam stat-wise, but is damn close, is an inch taller and has a better jumper. 93 ball, 90 mid-range, 85 driving dunk. Defensively, he's not quite Siakam, but he's dang good. 85 perimeter, 88 interior, 80 block, good rebounder, 85 speed and agility, 85 vert, 86 strength. Like, he's real close statistically to Siakam and doesn't quite have the badges, but 23 base badges, including even coming with base limitless. Really good. He's got on-ball menace as well as a base card. I mean, he is so complete as a base card in my team right now. Just an absolutely elite option, and yes, he's relatively expensive which isn't shocking because how good he is but dang if he's not an absolutely top tier card number two andre kirilenko the best three and d card in the game there's a reason he's going for 300k right now he is incredible 6-9 89 offense 99 defense already dropped gameplay with this card he is top tier 82 three ball 75 driving dunk not amazing offensive stats but the jumpers elite and defensively he is absolutely top tier 83 speed to a ball 93 agility he always gets incredible defensive animations two offs are glove and on ball menace yes there could be more total badges but he's got 22 base so with badges added he can get up to 27 badges and that pretty much includes every single important badge once you add badges to him he is elite and he has one of the best jumpers in my team that puts him in the number two spot for me. But number one is a guy who could be argued as the best point guard in the game, which is John Morant. Elite level card. Very expensive. I'm sure he's way more than 349K right now. He's probably closer to 700K by the time he ends. Uh, 88 three ball, 99 driving dunk. Really fast release, incredible slasher. So he fits the meta as a slasher, but he's also an elite shooter. And his defense is pretty juiced compared to what you would anticipate. 90 steel, 87 perimeter, 70 interior, 75 block, 97 speed through the ball, 95 agility, 98 vert, even 80 strength. This is an awesome point guard and a lot of total badges, a lot of good hoffs like Lightning Launch, Ankle Assassin, Shifty Shooter, Pogo Stick Handles for Days, Posterizer, um, 17 
19 golds as well include a lot of other good badges still needs on ball menace could use limitless range as well brick wall removal enforcer paint patroller would also help on the interior but as a whole john morant elite level card exceedingly expensive not gonna be worth his price but a very very good card in my opinion probably the best card overall from today's drop with that being said that is going to do it for today's video that is my opinion on today's drop and where i would rank everybody and hopefully this video does help you all out in terms of which guys to target in my team if you did enjoy the video make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all base